Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Take a look. Looky here. A wee little baby. Look at that. Born last night or this morning. There's Kit and her baby. She don't like to let me get too close. How about that right there? Finally, just a couple of days after posting Sunday's video, right here. I was getting worried about her, but Flo finally had her little cap. Not sure what it is, gender-wise. Kevin sent me the picture early this morning. And he woke up, came outside, and then there was the baby. That was rough. Wrong mama. There you go. All right, so just by the looks of it, I got an up close view. See, Flo is a lot nicer, as you can tell. You can see Kit actually just kick the newborn red dog right here. The new red dog, the new little heifer was coming up and was trying to get some milk off of Kit. And of course, Kit's already feisty as it is kicked her off which is kind of hard to watch but mother nature 
wrong baby, better go back to your mama kind of attitude. Just got a close look because Flo is a lot nicer. Flo you can come up and hand feed her pretty much, but I knew she would let me get close to her newborn calf, but little heifer, so that's exciting. That's the uh, quickest way to grow the herd, like I always say, is uh, with heifers. And so just, just exciting to have our first two offspring of Big Joe, the big fella right over here hanging out, minding his own business. Just exciting right here that we know we can continue to grow the herd uh, just right here by having the Big Joe offspring. Baby's doing great, can see it nursing. So good sign already, seems to be a happy calf. Much different size, a little bit smaller than Kit's baby that was born, like I said, born on May 5th. Almost two months different, but. That calf just came all the way up to me and smelled of me. Actually let me pet it. That is crazy. That's definitely a first time right there. So glad you guys got to be a part of that. That little heifer was not afraid. I think she was coming to check me out wondering what the heck I was. But right there, I told you, there's no way Kit would have let me do that with her calf. But Flo, not bad so small I love that kid is actually let me be this close to it so I can get you some really good footage it doesn't always happen like this uh, there's a couple of bison out there of people I follow where they can do this, but most of the big ranches you can't be doing stuff like this And I'm just lucky that I've got a couple of pretty calm bison Like flow here just like you guys know my most popular Eleanor Dunbar is pretty calm, but you got to keep your distance with him. He's he's a big dude I don't think he'd try to hurt me, but eh, You just got to be careful. So they like laying in this pen. We've, we've got a little bit of rain but it's, you can tell there's some mud here, some dirt. They like that coolness of the mud, especially when it's so hot, they like to hang out in here. Then they'll go out and graze and uh, come back in and whatnot. So not sure whenever she had the calf, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's here, it's safe and it's healthy and nursing just like just like we expect and we want, want to happen. So guys, that's it. That is it. It is. We are approaching the end of red dog season. I just love this time of year and it's so exciting to have another red dog and this is the best way to grow the herd, like I always say, is to grow the herd. That's one of my main goals. Got one baby left from Dakota out in the Dunbar herd and we'll wait and watch her. I think she came in heat late and so I'm really not expecting a baby for a while. Could be a while. So not in a rush to, for her to have a baby like I was a little worried about with Flo, but We'll keep an eye on her. We'll keep an eye out on the new calf and make sure she's nursing like she is doing. So thank you guys for watching. Got some new shirts out. Uh, you guys can check us out. You can check our merchandise out. It's at crosstimbersbison.com. You can check out some of our new shirts and uh, some new hats coming around the corner. Thank you guys for watching and being a part of this. I really appreciate all the support from my followers. You guys are very positive and I love the comments that you guys leave. Just taking care of the American bison. It doesn't get any better than that right there. And for the first time, a newborn calf less than 24 hours old comes up to me and I'm able to pet it. That's just a great experience and I'm blessed to uh, be able to do this. Thank you guys.